So you've come across a piece of land, it looks good, the price is right, and you're ready to buy, but then you change your mind because you think it's in the bush. No, don't make this mistake. You could be missing out on a really great property opportunity, and I'll explain why in this video. If we haven't met, my name is Natasha and I'm the founder and director of Diaspora Connect and on this channel I like to give you information and inspiration on the Zambian real estate market. And in this video today, I want to talk about helping you not make the mistake that I see a lot of people in the diaspora making, which is not buying a property because they think that it's in the bush. Very often, I talk to people in the diaspora like you who really want to buy a property back home. And then they find the perfect property, they like the price point, they can afford it, they like the payment plans maybe, and they can even see themselves building a home for themselves or for their family there. But then they decide not to go ahead because they feel like that property is in the bush. Now, I think that this is a really big mistake that a lot of people, especially in the diaspora, are making and like I said I want to help you avoid making this mistake in this video I am going to give you examples of areas which were yesterday's bush and today's thriving neighborhoods and then I'm also going to bring you a real life example of somebody who lived in the diaspora for many years came home and was looking to buy a property and made that same mistake. She didn't go for a property because she thought it was in the bush and you listen to what happened when she realized that it was actually a great area. So make sure you watch this video until that part. And then the third thing that I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to give you some examples of properties that may appear as though they're in the bush today but they are already turning into thriving neighborhoods. So I've got a lot for you in this video don't go anywhere. So if you like the sound of that, then I want you to click that subscribe button and the notification bell and make sure also that you share this video with other Zambians who you know are interested in property. I've got a lot to get through and I'm excited to take you through this video, so don't go anywhere. I can't tell you in Lusaka how many areas and neighborhoods that were considered a bush a few years ago and have now turned into thriving neighborhoods. Some places have even turned into upmarket neighborhoods. And I want to start with a personal example. So I grew up in Ibex Hill and I'm telling you when I was younger, which was uh, quite a few years ago now, Ibex Hill was the bush. Like nobody knew where it was. It was considered to be in the farms. People would always say, where is that? Where is Ibex Hill? Where do you live exactly? And of course, I grew up before internet. So I'm giving away my age. I grew up before Google Maps and, and anything like that, pin locations. So whenever we were having little birthday parties or any get togethers, we would physically have to draw a map of where my place was because people didn't know the area, they didn't know the neighborhood. And then National Housing Authority decided to build high cost houses in my neighborhood. The neighborhood that was formerly a bush was now home to NHA's high cost houses. Not only that, Ibex Hill is now home to the American Embassy and that really raised the value of that area. Not too long ago, I did, actually, I think it was last year, I did a video with one of my real estate colleagues, Chris Juma from Hardcastle, where um, he took us through one of his uh, furnished accommodations that he's been letting out, and it was in Ibex Hill, and he talked about all the great benefits of the area. If you haven't seen that video, then head over to watch it so that you can see how Ibex Hill has been totally transformed from a bush to a great location today. Chomba was also another guest on our channel and she has a house in Baoleni and she was telling me how when they bought their plot, it was near a graveyard. No one wanted to go near that place. It was a bush, it had so many bad things that people didn't like about it 
and yet if you go there today it's 10 minutes away from a mini hospital a beautifully done mini hospital i have to say which even has a surgical ward and it's another 10 minutes from a newly completed shopping mall another great example of how an area that was formerly considered a bush where people even questioned her decision to get a plot in that area and now envying her because it's got so many amenities and it's turned into this neighborhood which is thriving and benefiting from all the new facilities that have come into that area when i first went to an area called chifuema i thought it was so far me and my partner drove there on this never-ending gravel road. We felt like we would never get there. And we saw some properties there. And we thought, hey, yeah, they're nice, they're nice. But when you go there today, that road has been tarred all the way. It is the location of one of our multi-facility economic zone. And if you guys have been to our website, then there is a beautiful house that we use on our website. It's a white house. We'll flash it on the screen now. But that house is in Chifuema and it's just another amazing example of how areas which were really like dust dust and bush have become places where people are building really really beautiful homes so guys those are just three examples I could go on and on and on and I know you may have your own examples and if you do please tell me about them in the comment section below tell me about an area which you know of which was a bush maybe even when you left Zambia and on your home visits you went back there and you were shocked to discover how built up it was leave your comments below so I've given you lots of examples. Now I want to give you a real life example of somebody who lived in the diaspora for years, just like you. And she came home and was looking for a property to buy. But she also had that I'm in the bush syndrome and she almost missed out on a great opportunity because she thought the property was in the bush. Listen to what she had to say. I had an opportunity, I live in Foxdale. Uh -huh. I had an opportunity when I first came back mm. to look at property in that area. Yeah. And you know, if you've been in England a long time, you go to an area you don't know. <laughs> I just saw Bush and I'm thinking, you know what? Right. I'm, I'm not sure this is safe. Yeah. I'm not sure I'm going to buy here. And so I didn't really have that local knowledge and the benefit of seeing where land appreciates. And right. so I, I waited and said, look, I'll do it when I can afford this area or that area right. and that's because it wasn't familiar to me yeah. but when I, I ended up buying in the same area <laughs> but at 50 percent higher higher and yeah. and so and by that time it had developed and then it becomes this place that you really struggle to afford to get into right. so th there's a lot of things around that understanding your area having the right advice all those things go into mm -hmm. your early decision making yeah if you feel like maybe you've missed out on some opportunities because you also suffered from this i'm in the bush syndrome don't worry i've got your back i've got you covered we have have quite a few properties that we are currently marketing that are in the bush now but they are already turning into thriving neighborhoods one of these properties is Choa Estates now it's 30 kilometers from the McKinney turnoff and 17 of those kilometers are on a gravel road now when you're on that gravel road you might be thinking oh my god this really is the bush <laughs> but if you see the update video that we did not so long ago people have already started building and the people who are living there McKinney used to be such an agricultural area people would have farms there it was really like a farming area but now more and more people are converting their farms into small holdings or converting their small holdings into residential areas in fact it's even one of the things that prompted the seller of Choa Estates to actually develop Choa Estates so they took something that was a farm or a bush you can say and they've decided to turn it into a residential area and we still have some of these plots available for you so don't worry you haven't missed out
Coming closer to the McKenney turnoff itself is McKenney Heights. And if you guys have been watching our videos, then you'll know all about McKenney Heights. This is uh, one of our newest uh, property developments. It was only launched last year and they are selling uh, fully serviced plots in McKenney. So we had a client in the diaspora who was interested and we arranged a virtual viewing over WhatsApp. And so we were showing him the place and taking him around and he liked it, but he said, uh, it's, it's just a bush. Am I going to be the only person there? <laughs> now, if you guys have seen our update video, you'll see that people have already started building their homes. And there are actually already three show homes that have been built on McKinney Heights. So you can see that in a short period of time, what can seem like it's a bush will generate into an area where people are building. And of course, once they build, they will want to live there. McKinney Heights is still available as well, so if you're interested in that, then all the links to these properties that I'm mentioning will be below this video. And then lastly, the other property that I want to tell you about, which is on our platform, and this one is literally in the bush, and it's actually one of their major selling points, is Chaminuka Wildlife Estates. So this is in one of Lusaka's, I think it's the only private game reserve in Lusaka, so it's all about nature, it's all about wildlife, life and yes it's all about the bush but they have sold um, a number of plots in that estate and people have built the most beautiful houses guys we are planning to do an update video on that one as well but the last time I went there and looked at those houses they were amazing so I hope I've convinced you I hope I've given you tons of examples and even what we have currently to show you that don't allow yourself to miss out on a property opportunity because you feel it's in the bush when you're away you might not get a sense of how the city is growing but guys it's growing at a rapid rate. Don't be left behind. And this is why William Adair penned that famous quote, find out where people are going and buy land before they get there. Not once they're there, but buy land before they get there. So question of the day, I mentioned it earlier, but I want to mention it again, is what example can you give of a place that you know that was a bush but is now a fantastic, built up and thriving neighborhood. Give your examples in the comments section below. And like I said, if you want any information or more information on the properties that I mentioned that are still available for sale for you, then just make sure you click on the links below this video and we will send you that information straight away. Alright guys, so I hope you liked this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and if you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss any of the videos that I put out which have information and inspiration on the Zambian real estate market. You can also connect with us on social media. We love to chat with you there. And if you'd like more information on what we do and how we help you in the diaspora, then please visit our website or get in contact with us or get in touch with us. All of our details are below this video. But otherwise, it's bye for now.